This section's awfully stubby. Info from when it was fun needs to be added five years into her imprisonment. River escaped and encountered several Santarans who shot at and chased her halfway across the galaxy after she asked them if they were on a hen night. She escaped into the TARDIS where the doctor returned her to Storm Cage via her Vortex Manipulator to prevent her from interacting with her past self and her future self. H-O-M-E-V-I-D. Last night, River escaped Storm Cage for a date with the 11th Doctor on Asgard, a planet-sized theme park. Throughout their date, River wrestled with her deep desire to have a child, even though she knew she didn't lead a life conducive to raising children. She attempted to ask the doctor his views on her or them having a child multiple times, but was either too nervous to get her thoughts out or interrupted by the continuing problems occurring on Asgard. After she and the doctor saved Asgard from Thomas, River decided to enjoy a private picnic with the doctor and not ask him about having a child. Pros, picnic at Asgard. River came to know that a bounty had been put on young Time Lords. Fearing for the safety of the doctor, she went to London, 1963. She managed to be hired as a history teacher at Coal Hill School, while also taking a second job as an assistant patrolwoman at night, to look for bounty hunters. It was during this time that she met Susan, her step-granddaughter. She also befriended Ian Chesterton and Barbara Wright, as well as briefly meeting the first doctor. With the help of Ian and Barbara, she was able to track down a shape-shifting bounty hunter who took control of Sheila Page, one of Susan's classmates. Assisted by Susan, who vaguely recognized she had an air of family around her, River managed to get it out in the open and then neutralize it, thus ending the threat. She then left Cole Hill, refusing Susan's invitation to enter the TARDIS. Audio, an unearthly woman. 